This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. Thanks for joining us. On this wildlife adventure, we journey to Vietnam in search of lizard species that inhabit the desert-like sand dunes of Mui Ne. Welcome to the spectacular sand dunes of Mui Ne. We're in Vietnam, about 240 kilometers northeast of Saigon, and we've come to this area to see what we can find, what sort of reptiles or animals that would live here. It's hard to believe in such a harsh environment things are able to survive, but they are. And in areas like this, have a look, we've got some tracks around here. It's got the tail and it's got the little footprints on either side. Coming into the bushes, into these holes here. So I'd say that'd be uh, some type of lizard hole, probably a skink or a small dragon. like a little oasis in the middle of the desert. Got these beautiful lotus flowers here. Oh, the water's nice and clean. There's a few fish around. Believe it or not, there's some really big frogs in here as well. Oh, that's nice. I might have to have a swim in that later. This oasis, or billabong as we like to call them in Australia, are the heart and life support of a range of creatures that live here. Without these mini ecosystems, many species would perish. This looks promising. It's a bit of a hole in here, I don't know, it could be uh, a number of things. Uh, usually reptiles, especially the, the lizards, when it gets hot during the day, they'll come into, into their burrows and they'll burrow right down into the ground to where it's nice and cool to escape the heat of the day and also escape predators. They can also escape fire. Oh, there he goes! <laughs> Beautiful little lizard. Great colours. This is just a juvenile. They get to about whew, 50, 60 centimetres in length. He flew out his hole, didn't he? Straight between the cameraman's legs. <laughs> Straight out of the hole. Let's pop him back in there where he belongs, where it's nice and cool. There you go, matey. There he goes, down where it's nice and cool. Let's go and explore some other areas of these fantastic white sand dunes. Isn't he spectacular? He's a blue crested forest dragon. I'm gonna have to take a couple of photos of this guy. Have a look at the blue color. That's fantastic. So these guys are from the Agamid family and they're basically small dragons. Where you going little fella? And they're found in lots and lots of areas. They eat beetles. And what they do is when they lay their eggs, the females will dig a hole and then she'll lay her eggs in there 
uh, seven to 12 eggs, and then she'll cover the hole up of all traces so predators can't find them. So I'll try and get her. You're a handsome little man, aren't you? Now what he's actually doing is he's right up on the top of the branches. He's got all his mating colours and he'll bob his head and give other signals to protect his territory and also entice the girls over. Have a look at me, check out my nice blue suit. <laughs> but usually in, when it's not mating season, these guys are a fairly dull drab colour which they use for camouflage. So Sometimes it works for him to get the ladies, other times it works against him when predators see those bright colours. This hole's a bit bigger. You can see we've got a bit of a, a tail slide going into the hole. It's getting around lunchtime now, so anything out in, this, in the sun, including me, I'm looking a little bit red, <laughs> wants to get underground where it's nice and cool, so. I hope it's a lizard in here. You never know, sometimes a snake might go in there and eat the lizard and then move into his home, so. Another butterfly lizard. I think it's a butterfly lizard. I saw his tail. But what he's actually doing is I'm digging in and he's digging further, further in to get away from me. This one's a bit bigger. See the dirt coming out? <laughs> All right, let's reach in and grab him, shall we? If we can grab him before he grabs me. You big fella. Enough to get him up around the back legs. I don't want to pull him out by the tail. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, he's a bit bigger, this fella. Oh, hello. Hello, how are you going? What a handsome devil. Look at this lizard, spectacular. He's got blue, red, black, spots, stripes. No wonder you get all the girls. Hey, have a look at his back legs. Look at the toes there, look how long they are. That helps him run fast and also helps him dig. You can see his front claws here and that, that's what he was digging with just then. He's got like a short stumpy head. Now these lizards are omnivorous. So they eat uh, vegetation as well as insects. Wow, spectacular. He's got a flat tail, very long. You have a close look in his ear there. You can see the drum and that keeps sand out while he's burrowing. And when they mate, the female will lay the eggs down the burrow and the babies will hatch out. And then they'll live in the burrow with mum for up to seven months. So you can see he's a very solid, stocky, stocky lizard. Handsome, you're so handsome, aren't you? Just wanna give you a little kiss. Okay, we're gonna put him on the ground and give you a demonstration of how fast he can run. And see if I can keep up. Are you ready? On your marks, get set, go!
the marathon runner. Here we go, mate. We'll pop you back in his hole. Go in there where it's nice and cool. And what he'll do is he'll dig that out further, get in there and enjoy the rest of his day. Later on in the afternoon, come out and look for some green things to eat, flowers, buds, also insects, and whatever else is around. Let's go. Wow, leaping lizards. This is the sand dunes of Muine. We hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Now I have to get out of here because I'm starting to look like a prawn on the barbie. But uh, join us, our next destination. I've got no idea where it is, but we'll see you when we get there. Thanks for watching. Let's help protect, look after and promote Mother Nature together. And if you would like to see my full wildlife adventure episodes, you can now download them at coreywild.com. Wild, always bringing breathtaking adventure to our screens. Corey Wild is also one of Australia's ambassadors for environmental protection and sustainability. Corey's complete TV series from Southeast Asia and Australia is now available on a DVD set. Let the adventure begin. My name is Brian Barczyk. I've been working with exotic animals for over 25 years. I'm no zoologist, just a guy with a passion for animals. And that passion often takes me on animal adventures around the world. This is ABTV.